believe that Bella and Lila would rather be at Camp Kerpow than here. Having a relaxing summer day in the pool, sun shining down. Actually, that's... Eh, never mind. Let's be quiet so I can maximize my enjoyment of the latest Y Girls book. Whatever the crisis is, it must be awful. I've never heard Bella so upset. <gasps> what if it's a bully or a bear or worse? They ran out of marshmallows for their s'mores! <gasps> the crisis is a little kid? That little kid is Grandmaster Khan's granddaughter, AKA the thing keeping me from getting my Kerpow Junior Counselor pin. I'm gonna need a little more information. Well, Camp started off great. Bella and Lila, as our eldest campers, you have the opportunity to prove your Kapow skills and earn Junior Counselor pins. Whoa. Oh! 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 Lila and I were rocking it, acing every challenge, getting star after star. But then, Grandmaster Khan gave us her last challenge. You must train one of the youngest campers in the fundamentals of Kapow! Confidence, precision, and focus. They will demonstrate these fundamentals through Kapow movements. Confidence, the initial stance. <sighs> precision, the side angle kick. Kapow! Focus. Board breaking. Tonight, you will present with your student to show how well you have taught these fundamentals. Lila, you're with Brandon. Bella, you're with Hazel. Hey, kid. I'm Bella. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. I guess we'll get going. Lila's been crushing it. Wait a munch it, Brandon! And I've gotten nowhere. I've tried all the things that worked on me when I was a kid. Hazel Khan, assume initial stance. That stance is weak! Don't you want to be a fierce powerhouse of Kerpow intimidation? Grr. No. No. Let's try it this way. Watch me and do what I do. She's obviously athletic. She's just not learning Kerpow. I need some serious help. Good thing you have the best little helpers in Littleton right here. Some experts suggest that a key to teaching kids is using puppets. Hello, Hazel. I'm Kerpow McSockface. I'm gonna teach you the one, two, three Kerpow basics. She's not listening to McSockface. I'll do a funnier voice. Kids love comedy. Ahem. Kerpow is about confidence, precision, and focus. Repeat after me. Confidence. That was the funny voice. Since Hazel loves reading, maybe she can learn Kerpow from a book. Right. Says here that some people learn best by reading about a topic. Let's give it a shot. Go big book! You like books, huh, kid? Well, here's a book about Kerpow. Uh, cool. Can I read it after I finish this Fly Girls book? I'm at the good part. The good part? I want to read the good part. Whoa! Huh. I guess a great book really can be distracting. Maybe we can borrow it from Hazel so she can focus on learning from Bella? Hmm, hiding a book in the name of learning? Counterintuitive. But for Bella's sake, the class must go on. Psst, Bella, new plan! Hey, uh, mind putting that down for a sec? So, I want to be a junior counselor because Kerpow's my favorite thing in the world. After I practice, I feel super strong. I feel that way at gymnastics. You do gymnastics? Yeah, floor exercise is my favorite. I can do a front tuck, hop, back tuck, hop, a front pike, back pike, back bend, kick over round 
grown-up handspring. <laughs> Shawnee, go dog. Tiny people tried to take my book. Um, that gymnastic stuff was amazing, Hazel. <laughs> totally, uh, knocked my sneakers off. <laughs> Thanks, but I think something strange is happening. Tiny power! Uh, the way you did that roundhouse. <laughs> Round off. Excuse me. Okay, you two, what's the deal? I know you're not dolls. How'd you get smaller just now? Promise I won't tell? <sighs> I can't deny another Y Girls fan the correctness of her observation. Johnny, it's Nay on the walking day. Oopsie. <gasps> ha, I knew it. I'm right. Uh, now that my family knows, I guess one more person knowing isn't that big of a deal. As long as you don't tell anybody. Deal? Go big! Good. Hazel, I'm Polly, and this is Shawnee. We're Bella's friends. Whoa. This is awesome! I have so many questions. How'd you get shrunk? And an experiment? Or by an alien laser? Wait, are you two aliens? I have to admit, we're not totally sure how it works. Tiny Power needs further investigation and research. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brandon, onion chop! <laughs> Wait, that might just be the onion. <sighs> I don't have enough time left to teach her everything. The best teachers keep trying, to the very end. Okay, Hazel, just aim right between me and Sean. Kerpow! Yay, I love Kerpow! Not bad. If you keep practicing, you'll work your way up to breaking a board. <laughs> Keep practicing. Kerpow stinks. I don't want to be a Kerpow master like Grandma. It's not fair! Oh, I'm never going to make Junior Counselor. Not with a kid that hates Kerpow. It's not fair! I'll take Hazel. I got Bella. <sighs> Turns out teaching is much harder than I thought. Sorry, Bella. Yeah, kid's right about one thing. I can't make her be a Kerpow master if she's not into it. That'd be like trying to make me be all fancy. Which didn't work when you needed to earn the Bogowski tiara. Yeah. All I had to do was be myself. Hmm. Maybe that's what Hazel needs, too. There, there. I'm sure Captain Rockle was a kid once, and I bet even she had things that she wasn't good at. Well, on second thought, Captain Rockle's good at everything. So, kid, I haven't been the best teacher. I know it's no fun when people expect you to be something you're not. Maybe Kerpow's not for you. I'm sorry I pushed you. Oh, I'm sorry, too. It wasn't nice to read when you were trying to teach me. It's just, I really love white girls, and science, and gymnastics! For Bella to get the pin, Hazel just needs to show she knows the fundamentals, right? What if she could do that without Kerpow? Yeah! Junior Counselorhood. <laughs> oh, Ryla, you have taught Brandon well. I'm impressed. I would expect nothing less from any of my talented students, especially my granddaughter. Uh, don't worry, Hazel. You can do it, just like Bella showed you. Next, we have Bella Bigowski and Hazel Khan. We got this, kid. <clears throat> Hazel will demonstrate the fundamentals. Focus, confidence, and precision. But not with Kerpow moves. Mm -hmm. With her own style. Confidence. Hazel, give me an aerial walkover to a round off to a scissor leap. <laughs> Focus. Hazel, someone's taking your Y Girls book. Get it back. Precision. Hazel, you have 60 seconds to break this board. <laughs> you can do it, Hazel! Yeah, Ruth Goldberg, that board with the power of science! Silence! Bella, explain yourself. Grandmaster Khan, you've taught me to honor the fundamentals of Kerpow. Hazel has those fundamentals, but in her own way. I know I was supposed to teach her today, but she actually taught me by being true to herself. 
I see. Hmm. You have reminded me that the greatest teachers are those who remain willing to learn. Well done. Huh? How did you... The power of Kerbal. <laughs> I think our work here is done. Better go before we are, too. <sighs> Welcome to Follyville. A pool in your room? Whoa! Oh, water slide! I call dibs! Race ya! No way. The angle of that slide won't land you in the pool. You'll crash into a buffet table. Buffet? Huh? I mean, it's dangerous. That's a no on the water slide. But I bet there's something else in here we can do for pocket family fun. Yeah! How about the pocket alley? The one and only gumball bowling alley. Tips on the purple one! Nuh-uh. Chewing gum is dangerous. What? We're not even chewing it. No chewing gum. But that doesn't make sense. Let's not get all humdrum about gum now. Polly Pie, you have something fun and safe for your mom, right? I guess so. The Pocket Drive-In. Everyone gets their own car. Oh, classic and cool. Nice, Polly. Dibs on the convertible. No, no, no. Mom, do you not understand dibs? These toy cars don't have any sort of braking system, and things on wheels can be very dangerous. Nothing bad will happen, Mom. Just give it a chance. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> We always say at work, chance takers are accident makers. Polly, before you use this stuff again, you need to get rid of all the dangers, like wonky angles, gumballs, and wheels. Really, Mom? Ugh, fine. I guess the Polyville tour is over. I thought Mom would be impressed with everything I've built, but she's all safety, safety, safety. Need a hand fixing up Polyville? No. I need a hand getting Mom to worry less and have more fun. She worries because she loves you. But your mom knows how to have fun. She used to be quite the daredevil in her roller derby days. What? A daredevil? Roller derby? No way. Oh, oh yeah. She loved roller derby. This is so cool. Why did Mom stop? I haven't played roller derby since... The accident. Fifteen years ago, I was about to win it for the Littleton Lappers. Until... Ricky Roll and her chewing gum. most embarrassing moment of my life. But it would have been even worse if I had hurt Pierce or your dad. So I stopped. I just couldn't take that chance anymore. <laughs> and that's why we've never taken you kids to a buffet. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Come on, Mom. Don't you miss the crowd chanting your name? Pamela! 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 No. Well, maybe. <laughs> and actually, my derby name was Jamila. <laughs> but I'm too old for that now. You're never too old to have fun. Time to get back on the horse. Holly, I smell a scheme here. Okay. I thought maybe if I could help you get back on your skates, you'd ease up on some of your rules at Polyville. That's not happening. And neither is roller derby. Chance takers are accident makers, remember? I thought you'd say that. So I made you the safest track ever. No chances taken. No danger, just fun. And we'll do it together. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah! Okay, Mom. Ready? Ready, I think. 
see, Mom? You're doing great. Wow, this brings back so many memories. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I remember a lot of tumbles, too. <laughs> yeah! That's two for Polly. Best four out of seven. I'll beat you this time. <laughs> out of my way. Point for Jamila! This. I was the best jammer in the tri-state area. You keep saying that like I know what a jammer is. Okay, jammers are the fastest and most daring skaters on the team. And most importantly, the only one who can score. The rest of the players are called blockers, and their job is to stop the other team's jammer. And I was unstoppable. My move was the whippy back flippy. Here, give me a whip. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you do that? Lots of practice and lots of crashing. <laughs> <sighs> wow, that was fun. I didn't realize how much I miss roller derby. Well, I have another surprise. I invited everyone for a reunion at your old <gasps> track. What? <laughs> I haven't seen these skaters in forever. But I'm still so out of practice. What'll they think? They'll think you're great. Mm. Oh, thanks, Polly. Well, I better get ready. Hey, skatemates! Oh, Jamila, how are you? Oh, my goodness, your oh, hair! Oh, my Jamila, you haven't changed a oh. bit. Hey, is this your daughter? A future jammer like her ma, huh? <laughs> it's so good to see everyone. I I'm glad Polly was able to bring the team together. <gasps> Ricky, roll. Hey, we booked the track for today. <gasps> Oh, no! I didn't check the track schedule! Oops. She's taunting me with that buffet table. Hey! Those snacks are for Littleton Lappers only! Well, it's here during the Derby Dare's practice. Unless you want to scrimmage for a sandwich. You did great on the track yesterday. You've got this, Mom. I'm in. Me too! Let's skate. Jam a la Jam a la What's wrong, Dad? Oh, I'm Jamala. worried about your mom. Jamala. I forgot how hard it is to watch these matches. She's gonna do great. Oh, well. Uh... Ah! I can't watch. me down this time. You still upset about the bubblegum incident? Admit it! You gummed me up on purpose! No, I didn't! Yes, you did! Did not! Did too! Did not! <laughs> Penalty box! Both of you! Now! It's her! She started it! didn't do nothing. No, no! Hey, Mom! Everything okay out there? Yeah! I forgot how much fun this is. Thanks for putting this together, Polly. You should watch out for Ricky Roll. I don't trust her. Hey, Jamala! Jamala, Ricky, back in the game! Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Come on, skates! Just a little more! <gasps> oh no! Mom's skate wheel! <laughs> I have to help her! <laughs>
Transformers win! Yeah! <laughs> I just wanted to tell you. Good game! Oh, uh, thank you. You too. I was worried about your skate. I tried to tell you. So... that wasn't sabotage? Of course not! I know it's years too late, but I'm sorry. I should have never been chewing gum on the track. I always say, chance takers are accident makers. I've heard that somewhere before. Thanks for looking out for me, kiddo. No problem. You're always looking out for me, too. Hey, want to help me bring Polyville up to code? Absolutely. Water slide! I call dibs! No, not yet, Pierce! <laughs> oh, oh, you're not gonna... <laughs> you did this, Stop it! This is Marvin, your Milton Games coordinator, welcoming you to the women's soccer match. It's the hottest ticket in town, both figuratively and literally. The stadium is packed, and it's a scorcher out there. I'm melting. Melting! A hot day can't stop us, Lila. I may not have a sport to compete in, but this Littleton Games, business is my thing. And today we're gonna sell, sell, sell. But Polly, our business is selling hot chocolate. Keyword, hot. Oh, the weather app was wrong. I thought it was going to be cold. I read a bunch of books on business to prepare for this, and I think all the experts would agree that we should probably just give up and go somewhere with the air conditioning. No way! Once people get a taste of our recipe, I'm sure HCOD will... H what? HCOD. Hot chocolate on demand. Did you really name the app HCOD? Catchy, right? Anyway, our app is gonna be flooded with orders. Please stay. <sighs> All right, business buddy. It's true that with the super speedy, super small delivery car, we can deliver in record time. No one can compete with that. I can't wait to spend my cut on the best game souvenir of all. The ultra-exclusive commemorative charm bracelet. Woo! Mega squeal! Time for the ultimate marketing campaign. Free samples. Woo! Uh, who's controlling that? Oh, <laughs> and our lucky winner is Section 24, Row 66, Seat 113. There, that guy. Go Big Hot Chocolate. Enjoy your free sample. Free drinks from a robot? Radical. Hot chocolate? No way! It's too hot out! Robot, I want a refund on this free sample! Free hot chocolate? Whoa! Ugh, it's too hot for that. Wow! Ah, uh, no. Come on, not one order? We gave out samples all over the stadium. Which for sure cut into our profit margin. It's just too hot out. Or my phone isn't getting a signal down here. There are probably tons of orders. They're just getting blocked by the bleachers. Come on! The signal's fine, but I think the heat's gotten to your head, Polly. Go big! I've got full signal! Come on, orders! Did the flamingos just score? Uh, Polly? I think I know why we're not getting any orders. Ice cream! Ice cream! Hey, over here! Get your ice cream here! Yeah, over here! Over here! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! One at a time, please. You'll all get your ice cream. By the honor of the ice cream server's oath, I promise you that. It's ice cream Irene. You can always count on her to be around in a heat wave. <gasps> We have competition. Great for the consumer, not so great for us. Gotta restock. Be right back. I wanted oh, ice cream. Man. So hot. Where's she oh, going? Man. Sold out already? She is good. This is our chance. Those customers are eager to buy, and Irene isn't here to sell to them. We can scoop them out from under her. Cream our competition. We can do it. 
Did you mean to make so many ice cream puns? <sighs> ice cream on the brain. My point is, we're going to outsell Irene. We just need someone to buy our hot chocolate. Woohoo! Go Flamingos! Go, go Flamingos! With the power of pink, we make the other team stink! Aha! Woo! Oh, hello, Polly dear. How's my little entrepreneur doing? Uh, technically, we haven't sold anything yet. But I know once we get our first sale to a major influencer, it'll snowball into lots more. Nice! Way to spin it. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan to me. And you're the lucky influencer. Could you and Richard buy some hot chocolate from us? <laughs> uh, hot chocolate? In this heat? Oh. We deliver right to you. You don't have to move a muscle. So you sweat less. And stay cooler. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Anything for my Polly. Thanks, Grandma. Tiny power! Yes! Our first order! I can deliver it to her in 60 seconds flat. Really? They're all the way at the top of the stadium. Hold on to that hot chocolate and start the clock. You didn't get the 60 seconds, but you did get the flat. Oh, the delivery car is what set our business apart. Well, maybe the orders will pick up and we can still get that charm bracelet. Business will break your heart. You were right. Let's go home, Lila. Oh, how is my luck this bad? It hasn't even rained. Is this... Ice cream? <laughs> oh, shimmies! Oh, not again! What's wrong? Ah, shimmies! Sorry, but now is not the time for an ice cream inspection from Iceland's greatest inspector! Uh, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry. It's my day off? <laughs> you see, once I pretended to be an ice cream inspector, so... Yeah, I was there. I thought business was booming for you. You, uh, lucked out with a hot day. <laughs> That's just it. I've been trying to fulfill my oath to promptly serve ice cream on hot days to any hungry customers with cash. But it's too hot. I gotta park my truck way out here, and my ice cream melts before I can even get inside. Ugh. I failed. Worst day ever. Hmm. If only there was some way to, I don't know, drive a tiny ice cream truck around the stadium and deliver to customers directly in their seats? Hint, hint. Lila, I can't share my secret with Irene. She's the competition. Not anymore. We're out of business. Unless we do a mini merger. She has an amazing product, and you have a way to get it to people. You can trust her. She takes oaths very seriously. Her protocol. I'm turning in my hat and apron. Guess I'm never gonna get the Littleton Games commemorative charm bracelet now. Wait, I have a way to help. And you swear never to tell anyone as long as you can scoop a cone? So help me cookie dough. Tiny power! Yeah. Hot fudge! That's amazing! Yeah uh, uh, bad news? We're out of everything except vanilla. Jimmy's! Everything else must have melted in the parking lot. I got it! We have lots of leftover hot chocolate ingredients. We can make something special together. I call it Soccer Sprinkle Sparkle. Order up! Go big ice cream! Whoa! That was so fast! And it's still so cold! Tubular! Big enough for us all to get.
get bracelets. That order's across the stadium. We can't make it before the game ends. We can if we go across the field. I like your thinking. And she kicks it. Wait a tick. It looks like there's a second ball on the field. No, it looks like a tiny truck. I gotta get my eyes checked. But you don't need 2020 vision to recognize a stellar move from Sunny Moon. No, head straight for it. I hope you have a plan. Tiny power. Say no to that. Here you go. We should all get matching ice cream charms. Would you like a hot chocolate charm too? Half off. That one hasn't been selling too well. <laughs> I think we'll stick with ice cream. Good morning, Littleton. I'm Polly, and this is my co-anchor. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, that was my co-anchor, Shawnee. Well, tonight. We'll be kicking off the 42nd Littleton Games with the official opening ceremony! Woo! Oh, oh. The Littleton Games brings together athletes from all over to our very own town of Littleton. And right now, we have an exclusive interview with our own Littleton Games roller dancers. Now, Pamela and Pete, we prefer Mom and Dad. You're the favorite for the amateur class roller dancing gold. Tell us. What was your path to greatness? Well, we've been performing the same routine every year since we met. Our first date was at the Littleton Games. We had dinner, dessert, and, short story long, we ended up accidentally rolling right into the roller dance event. We won the bronze. Our entire relationship is built on roller dancing at the Littleton Games. So what does competing mean to you? It's not about winning or losing. When we compete, we reenact our first date and remember how lucky we are to have each other. Mm. That's right. The key to love. Roller dance. And cut. Cut? You're not the director. No, but someone had to cut before Mom and Dad got too gross. <laughs> He'll take the hint. <laughs> how about another practice round, honey? You got it, pumpkin. <laughs> Should I be impressed or horrified? Mail here! Go big! Nope, 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 uh, nope, nope, oh, wait! Nope, nope, yes! It's here! It's finally here! The Littleton Game Schedule! Wow, Polly, did you decide to compete? No, but I'm excited to support my family and friends. Starting with the opening ceremony, starring Shawnee Smith. I've been practicing my solo for weeks. Oh, and get this, I'll be joined on stage by holographic flamingos. <laughs> At tonight's opening ceremony, I'm gonna cheer my heart out for you. Then Tuesday, I'm gonna cheer my heart out again for Lila in her soccer shootout. Then to the beach for Pierce's volleyball game. Aw, you don't need to cheer me on. But if you choose to, here's a bullhorn so everyone can hear you within a 10 mile radius. Uh, thanks. So after volleyball, we should have mom and dad's roller dancing. Huh. When is roller dancing? Did they cancel it? Maybe I can talk to the director of the games, since I'm the star opening ceremony performer. Great idea, Shawnee. We should investigate before worrying Mom and Dad. This must be a mistake. It's not a mistake. As games coordinator, I decided that roller dancing is canceled. Oh. But, Mr. Marvin, roller dancing is the best! It's got all the awesomeness of dancing plus wheels! No one bought tickets for it. The roller dancing event would have been a dud. Pardon me. The hologram needs to be absolutely perfect. We can't have any technical issues. But my parents have to compete, just like their first date. She's right. Their love's basically built on it. If they don't compete, things will get uh, crumbly. There must be something you can do. Of course I can do something. I'm the games coordinator, but I won't. 
and there's nothing you can say to change my mind. Now excuse me. Oh man. If nothing we say can change his mind, perhaps there's something we can do. Hmm. <gasps> Got it. Pierce, you're on distract mom and dad duty. If they find out the event is canceled, they might stop dancing and who knows how fast the grumbling would start. This is the most important task I've ever accepted. Shawnee, we're on Marvin duty. Let's do it. All right, Team Tiny. Save roller dancing on three. One, two. The flamingos are headless. We cannot have a ceremony with headless flamingos. Fix it. Yikes. Yeah, that's not right. Save roller dancing. <laughs> Marvin looks lonely. If he doesn't care about mom and dad's love, maybe he'll care about his own. Science shows that roller dancing is the best way to find love. Yeah, right. Hello, ladies. Looks like you caught me getting funky. <laughs> Breaking news. We just caught word that roller dancing is... Huh? If appealing to his heart doesn't work, we'll show Marvin that roller dancing is super cool. Whoa! I'm the judge of cool, here to judge the coolness of your games. Judge of cool? I don't have that on my schedule. Get with the times, old chap. Your schedule also doesn't seem to include the coolest sport of all time, roller dancing. Roller dancing? Achoo! Gesundheit. Security! <laughs> hmm. Hey, hun, uh, have you seen my phone? No. Have you seen mine? This pinwheel should hypnotize him into believing exactly what we say. Let's check the landing cam to see if the hypnotic pinwheel's working. Wow, the colors we chose are mesmerizing. Yeah, I hope we don't get hypnotized. Roller dancing is good fun. We tried everything, and nothing worked. And I'm not sure how much longer Mom and Dad's phones can stay in the dishwasher. <laughs> but there has to be something we can do to stop roller dancing from being canceled. Wait, roller dancing is canceled? And our phones are where? I'm so sorry. We tried to save it, but Marvin wouldn't budge. Please stay in love. We love your love. I love your love. <laughs> Mom and Dad! <sighs> Why would we stop being in love? Because you said you needed roller dancing to remember how lucky you are to have each other. We don't need roller dancing. It's just one of many, 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 many things that remind us how much we love each other. A canceled event isn't going to crumble anything. We can still relive our first date, dinner, Pie and roller dancing in the pocket rink. You bet your skate boots we can. Just like we always do, but tinier. Except maybe the pie. Can, can we full-size the pie? So you're not sad? Oh, no, I'm devastated. We had a lot of roller friends coming in from out of town to compete. <sighs> not having roller dancing in the Littleton Games means the whole gang won't be together this year. And that's a big loss. Well, let's go get our 20th first date on for all our roller friends. I should be going, too. I have to get ready for my performance. All of Littleton will be watching. <gasps> Shawnee, you're brilliant! Ah, uh, thanks. Wait, did what I say just give you an idea, or do you really think I'm brilliant? Both! Good evening, and welcome, everyone, to the Littleton Games! All right, all clear. Excellent work, Shawnee. Pierce. Do you copy? They've made it to dessert, and Dad does not take his time with cherry pie. Then they do their dance. All I've got to do is find the hologram projector control board. There it is. Hurry, Polly. We're running out of time. Don't worry. I brought my wheels. Okay, 
Now to hack into a high-tech hologram projector. I'm on it! Action! Littleton Games, yeah, we're ready to start. The games may be small, but they show you big heart. Cause yeah. coming together is <laughs> what this game's all about. <laughs> Roller dancing? I gotta shut this down! This was my plan all along, to announce that roller dancing is back on! Yeah! Yeah! All right, roller dancing! Aww. Ugh, so gross, yet sweet, yet gross. Can we turn it off now, Polly? Idea. Right, Hazel? Wow, this is all so cool! The shrinking, the gym, Polly and Bella, you two are just so super cool! Eh, I know we didn't get off on the right foot when I coached you at Camp Kerpow. But as your all-around coaches, we're gonna make sure you nail the Littleton Games Kids Gymnastics Competition tomorrow. I even got a book, Kids Coaching Kids. Thanks, and this time around, I'm going to be a great student. Says here that positivity is the key to winning. It's a way to be positive. You got it, Polly. I'll be super positive. Now let's run your routine. First up, floor exercise. Hey, ah, ha, ha. Rhythmic. Ha. Balance beam. Oh, oh, I um just remembered that I need to feed my pets. Slow down, Speedy. Everything okay? Well, be positive. <laughs> yeah, everything's great. Excellent. Perfect, even. Now, could you, um, throw me? My pets get very upset if I don't feed them on time. Of course. Go big. See you at the gym tomorrow. We See wouldn't ya. miss it. According to Kids Coaching Kids, the best way to spread positivity during a competition is to arrive early and set up the cheer. Oh! Hazel! <laughs> Polly! Bella! Hi! <laughs> What's up? What's up is pre-competition snacks. Let's see what I have. Pineapple ice pops, pickles, pecans, pears. <laughs> Guess I got stuck in the peas of the Kids Coaching Kids snack guide. This is a disaster! Rats have infested the gym! Rats? Oh, dear! Guess you'll have to postpone the competition until tomorrow. Absolutely not. The rats must be removed today or the competition is off. But fear not, Littleton's top rodent catcher will be here soon. Top rodent catcher? And no one's allowed inside until animal control has taken care of this. Now, excuse me, as the game's coordinator, I must coordinate. This is awful. Uh-uh. Be positive no matter what happens. Come on, Polly. Hazel was just saying how she feels. But I'm positive we can fix this in no time. Tiny powers! Look, that window's open. Hmm, these boxes are like little steps. <laughs> Wonder how they got there. Okay, keep a lookout. Rats are known to stick to dark corners and... Whoa, 
I've heard of gym rats before, but this is next level. Wait, are those really rats? No, they're hamsters. I, um, study rodents in school. Hello, hamsters. There's a big event scheduled here today, and it's really important that uh, you leave. Huh. The other hamsters follow that gray one. All we have to do is get the gray one to follow us out of here, and Hazel's competition is back on! Hazel, we'll get them to you, and then you shoo them out the window. Okay, Polly. Rats, I trained all year for this. Oh, I hope the competition doesn't get canceled. Oh, no. Animal Control is here to save the day. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Marvin. No rodent stands a chance against Consuela Fargo. Ah, thank you. Those rats will be gone in no time. No, 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 no! Ooh. Ooh. person is here, and she's going to catch my hamsters. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... Aw, oh, thanks, Thunder. I never got a group hug from my hamsters before. So those pets you needed to feed were your gymnast hamsters? Yes. Some people teach rats to run mazes. I taught my hamsters to play Follow the Gymnast. We've been playing so much, Thunder knows my routine as well as I do. Okay, I'm positive this wasn't covered in the book. So, can we actually honestly talk about what's going on instead of just being positive now? <sighs> I think I need that. Excuse me, sweeties. I messed up. You see, in the beginner class, we train on a balance beam that's on the ground. But for this competition, I have to do the real beam. And I'm afraid of heights. What if I fall? So, I ordered these socks that are guaranteed to make you stick to the beam so you can't fall. But they won't get here until tomorrow. And you thought Marvin would delay the competition till after you got the socks if there were hamsters in the gym. Why didn't you tell us before? You two are the coolest people I know. I wanted to impress you, and you wanted me to be positive. Oh, I thought being positive would help. But being honest would have been best. Sorry, Hazel. Guess these things aren't as black and white as books, movies, and cartoons sometimes make them seem. Hmm, this window's open. That's probably how the critters got in. Animal control! <gasps> we gotta hide! Tiny power! Come on, hamsters. Let's play follow the gymnast! Maybe one of us can go big and distract her. But we're not supposed to be in here. You can't hide from me, rodents. I'm the three-time Littleton Game rodent catching champion. Huh. Rodent catching's an event? Holly, you can't let her capture my hamsters. No, Hazel. You can't let her capture your hamsters. Tiny power! You're their leader. No one would expect the hamsters to sneak through that high window. Bella and I will distract animal control. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got mad distraction skills. You can run, but you can't hide, my furry foes. Aha! There you are. Wow, you really do have everything in your backpack. The power of pocket sizing. Run!
don't got a bridge in your backpack, do ya? Hmm. <gasps> Ice pops? Polly, I don't think right now is the best time for a snack. Just eat! Mm. Break, freeze! <laughs> Hamsters. Oh, this is really high. But talking about being scared of heights actually made me less scared. Yeah! Honesty for the win! Just keep telling us how you feel. Uh, I feel a little nervous. <coughs> but I can do this. For them. Come on, hamsters. Woohoo! I'll cut them off at the pass. Big trampoline! Okay, everybody, jump! Okay, how am I feeling? I'm feeling... Brave! Let's go! Woo! Uh... Gotcha! My babies! Thought you could escape the champ. Wait till Marvin sees this. Blue ribbon number four, here we come. Oh no, Hazel's hamsters! <laughs> Tiny power! Whoops! Get your blue ribbon given paws ready, Marvin, because the gym is clear of rodents. Ah, where'd they go? Hmm, well, as long as those rodents are out of my gym, I suppose the job is done. Attention, gymnasts! Everyone here? Here and ready to compete. Excellent. Let the games begin. Backpack's got everything. Even gymnastics cheering hamsters. <laughs> Are you sure you're up for this tiny style big adventure, Pierce? It might be too advanced for a pocket power beginner. Polly, please. I've been going pocket size for one, two, three and a half days now. Bring it on. Three, two, go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Polly set up the most amazing, most dangerous pocket size course ever. I saw my life flash before my eyes. And wow, I have spent a lot of time looking at myself in the mirror. <gasps> <gasps> you two, living room, now! Normal sized. You really launched from the top of the stairs? Peter! I mean, uh, your mom's right. It's very dangerous. What if she hadn't been carrying soft, clean laundry for you to land in? What if she were carrying a plate of bacon that was sizzling hot or a, a basket full of sharp scissors? But it wasn't really dangerous because I had it all planned out. We knew Pax was with Grandma today, so no baby wild card. Plus, we had safety gear. Helmets, pads, parachutes. <laughs> I've had the locket for a long time and I've never gotten hurt. But we've only known about it for a few days. Knowing what that locket is capable of, your dad and I think there should be some limitations on how you use it and how much you have it. Limitations? Are you saying you don't trust me? It's not you. It's more that we don't trust the locket and how powerful it is. But I have its power under control. Well, I've learned my lesson, so I'm going to the skate park where I will safely skate full-sized. 
Whoa, whoa, slow your roll there, mister. No going out until you've done your chores. Ugh, fine, I'll do my chores. Mom, Dad, I get that you're a little worried, but give me a chance to prove that I have the locket's power under control even when I'm having fun with it. What do you say, Pamela? I'm up for a little demonstration if you are. <laughs> Pun intended. Safe, controlled fun coming right up. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I believe I have proven that not only do I have my locket powers under control, but its uses go far beyond just having fun. No limitations necessary. I don't know, sweetie. It still seems dangerous for you to always have such a powerful device around your neck. But, but it has a heart on it! Heart equals harmless and cute and never dangerous. You said the locket is powered by gears, right? One little speck of dust could mess that right up. But I keep it so clean. Here, look for yourself. Just need a little more light. There. Hmm. The precision is quite impressive. What's the saying again? Little time? No, oh, Dad, it's mm. tiny power. Right. <laughs> Magic words are so hard to remember. I don't get why saying tiny power. Honey! Dad! Oops. <laughs> Shouldn't have said tiny power. Smaller. Pierce! Oh. Dun, 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 on the run! Ooh, run! run! Ah! <laughs> okay, so I'm okay. Polly Pie, Pammy. You're alive. Oh, thank goodness, Polly. Okay, enough proving I have Tiny under control. Let's go big! Oh no, Dad still has my locket. Does he even know how to go big? Oh, he's always had trouble with magic words. Heat? Honey? Where are you? Heat our pocket! Come on, he has to be this way. Do you hear something? <gasps> ah, ooh, yeah. Oh, so now Pierce takes doing his chores seriously. Get down and hold on! Polly! I I can't hold on! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Good enough. Wow. I never thought I'd be happy that Pierce wasn't very thorough with the vacuuming. That's it. Got it. Got it. Oh, I don't got it. Ah! Oh. 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 Everything's so huge. Wait, is that what Polly said earlier to go back to normal size? Go huge! Enlargen! Expandus Fatherus! 
Oh, this is all your fault. I'm so over this, this tiny power. <gasps> I've gone molecular. Polly, we almost got vacuumed. Which is why I need to get my locket back. I have tiny power under control, but Dad clearly doesn't. Well, how are we gonna find him? <gasps> the same way we do when he's lost at the grocery store. We call him! Oh, but I don't have my phone. You? It's on the table. That's a long ways. Where'd everybody go? Oh well, just gotta do the dishes. Mom, let's catch some leg. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Snuggle Bunny. Don't judge our love. <sighs> and the next thing I know, I'm here with no clue how to get back to my normal size. I know it's some combination of magic words, but I just can't remember. Oh, wait! Was it big time? <sighs> I guess I live here now. Hi, this is Peter. Dad! Holy! Oh, thank goodness, you won't believe what happened. Repeat after me. Go big. Go big? I'm back! <laughs> it worked! I'm normal again. Great, Peter. Now come get us. We're on the table next to my phone. Oh, there you are, smoochy crumpet. So? I'm good with the locket never leaving Polly's neck again. Pam? Well, I agree that the best home for the locket is with Polly at all times. Though, I will want to double check all your pocket sized stuff to make sure it's safe. Yes! I can't wait to show you Pollyville! We'll have so much fun! Maybe after we've had a little more time to process. The Atomic Universe was something else. Well, I almost got vacuumed. Chores are done! Hey, Polly, can you grow this for me? Whoa, what happened to you two? Oh, I think I know the deal here. You are so blown away by my cleaning skills that you're speechless. <laughs> you're welcome. 